Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to All Signs General Collective reading here, okay? I'm Miss Seen Terror, you guys. Um, today we're gonna do a collective, all right? So if you guys are new here, remember to like the video if the video does resonate with you. But if it does not resonate, I will have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. Um, yes, I did create a playlist for you guys. So hopefully one of those messages there resonate if this one does not. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Angels, what's going on? Any messages you want us to know today? Let me just read in, please. What's going on? That it's in love. That's asking for answers. Comfort. Thank you, angels. Thank you. All right. All right, so we have a cycle going on here, Wheel of Fortune. All right, this is the Nine of Swords, and then we have the Sun. All right, so I feel like there's a cycle going on in your connection with you and your person at this present time. I feel like there was a lot of depression going on in this connection, a lot of crying, a lot of looking back in the past, okay, and wondering, oh, what can I have changed? What can I have done? You know, someone is going back in the past and wishing they could do things. I feel like, I wish they could change things. I feel like this person, this person was very highly depressed, okay, with this um, relationship. I feel like, you know, at this present time, this person is giving this up. This is something that this person can't handle anymore. This person is choosing to let this go, okay, and move on with their lives at this time and choosing to be happy within themselves, be happy by themselves at this present time, all right? Let's see what else. There is going to be abundance coming towards you. I feel like somebody wants to have, um, you know, a really abundant relationship. Somebody wants to find someone. I feel like there is going to be good things coming towards you in this relationship if you want to. But the, for this relationship to work, I feel like with the six of wands being here in reverse, there's a lot of this person is not for me anymore. You know, I don't look at this person as the one for me. Like, we don't make a good couple anymore. You know, I, uh, I feel like, look at this. The Ace of Pentacles, and then you have the Six of Wands here in reverse. Like, you want this relationship, this abundance, this legacy with this person, but someone lets you down. You know, there's a lot of conflict here. For some of you, you might be married with 1111 being here. Might be married to this person. There's a lot of conflict going on. Here's the five of wands here in reverse as well, which is telling me there's a lot of arguments. Somebody walked away from this relationship because there was no end to these arguments going on here. There's five wands. It could be people that are involved as well in this connection that is, you know, joining this relationship and their issues. But I feel like these people need to take a side seat. Um, and mind their business because you and your person have a lot of issues that you guys need to doubt with on your own. But anyways, I do see a light at the end of the tunnel with this Queen of Cup here. But I feel like this person is coming in and forgetting to take care of themselves. I feel like this person is putting their whole their own health at je jeopardy because they want to make this relationship okay. All they're doing is manifesting this person back into their life and wishing that they will come back into their life. But I feel like the angels want you to know, or whoever this is, this could be your, your energies, guys, or your person's energy. But someone here is manifesting someone so deep that they're forgetting to eat. They're forgetting to take care of themselves. All they're thinking about is this person. This person, what is this person doing? I want this person back into my life because somebody walked away. Sometimes you need some space, you know? Yeah, I see blockage here. Somebody blocked someone. The seven of pentacles in reverse. They blocked someone because somebody wasn't investing in this relationship. That wasn't given their all into this relationship. And there's a lot of secrets in the moon. There's a lot of things that's going on in this relationship that you just don't know about. This person wasn't telling you everything in this relationship. 
in this moon being here. I feel like there's a lot of people that knows more than you do. It could be your friends, your family, someone that's close to you in the moon. You need to stop telling people about your business because as I bring in that up, we have the five of wands, remember? That in that tell me that other people might be involved. This could be your friends, your family. So you need to, you know, have those people take a seat because, you know, there's a lot going on here that you just don't know. All right, I do see your person coming back, okay? The King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, but they're they're ready to make a decision. So somebody was juggling two things here, going back and forth with someone. I feel like somebody was lying and they got caught in their lies with this Two of Pentacles here, and they just couldn't keep up with their lies and they got caught. Somebody was going back and forth and now they're ready to make a decision, okay? I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles and this uh, <laughs> King of Pentacles, this is the offer here. You know, I feel like this person is stable, stable-minded, got their stuff together, and they want to commit with the right person for them. Again, I'm going to repeat, with the right person for them. They want to build a legacy, okay? Sometimes this person could act like they are very young. I'm not going to say immature because the knights, the pentacles are very logical and could be manipulative in the reverse but these are people in the upright i feel like these are trustworthy people but at times this person could just be like let's see where it goes but this person is not really telling you everything they really want a real commitment but i feel like this person is putting on a show like they want a real commitment but they're just taking their time here you know so they're leading you on to believe that there is there is going to be a wedding like say for example you know a wedding or a big house or something but they're actually taking their time to see how things go with you i feel like this relationship ended this person is blaming everybody but themselves and i feel like you know you guys are supposed to be in each other's life i ain't gonna lie that's something that i <laughs> i don't want to say that but the star is here you guys are supposed to teach each other how to balance each other out i feel like this is a perfect time to actually get um with each other communicate with each other i don't see a lot of communication here at, at all and i feel like that's a problem i feel like there's a lot of talk and a lot of planning um there's a lot of love here but at the same time there is no communication the only form of communication i see is this um queen of swords in reverse blockage I feel like this relationship ended, but this person wants to begin again. They don't want to move on with anyone else, though. They want to fight for this relationship, work this out. But I feel like there's a lot of decisions that were made that went sour, okay? That went west. Is it west or south? Went south. <laughs> All right? But you guys are supposed to teach each other how to balance each other out. I feel like the angels were saying, yeah, it's time for you guys to talk because it's time for you guys to get together and fix this situation. Look at that. The Knight of Swords. Another blockage, you guys. No communication. No communication in this. Let's see what's going on in the second um, conclusion here for this relationship, please. What's the future conclusion in this relationship? Angels. What do you have for everyone here, please? Future conclusion. What do you see for them and their person, please? Oh my goodness. Angels, please. Thank you, angels. You've been so kind. Beautiful. Okay. Wow, so this person is acting very young running towards you. Running towards you when they feel like it's too late. I feel like this person wants to make peace with this relationship, but they're running towards you in the fact that they just want this to end, like this conflict between you and them to end. They're not about this life. I feel like for some of you, it could be an air sign that you're dealing with. Um, someone that is very rational and they just want, you know, not to do well on the negative, but let's look at the positive things about this relationship, okay? And just try to move forward, okay? But I do feel like with this kind of energy, you're looking down on this person like, uh, this might not be the one for you anymore, okay? Like this person is not teaching you a lot anymore. Like maybe before they used to, you know, um teach you a lot and you learned a lot from this person, but now you feel like you need to take your, your leave, 
and move on, okay? I do see the Knight of Pentacles, again, the Ten of uh, Wands here, and the Star, again! Oh my God, so this person is coming towards you and saying, hey, let's take this and see where this goes. Let's see where this relationship goes, okay? Well, you guys have a lot of problems where this person constantly blames other people for their bad decisions. Hmm. Are taking up a lot of responsibilities and they go sour. Like this person, you know, be like, babe, I got it, I got it, I got it. And you're like, wait, do you need help? No, 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 I got it. When things hit the fan, they blame you for that, for everything hitting the fan because you don't help them. Oh, I feel like you guys need to work on it. The angels are saying work on it. I mean, I don't know. I'm just going with the cards here. Because the stars are like, yeah, you guys need to work on this. Because you guys are meant to be in each other's life. Okay, so there's going to be communication. Oh, my God. Communication. Get ready. The ace of swords. Apology. This person is coming towards you and apologizing with this ace of swords. Woo! I like that. I like that. They're going to talk about this argument and why they walked away from this connection. Mm -mm -mm. It was a lot of people involved. I keep getting that. Stop telling people your business. All right? Especially when it comes to your partner. That's something that you should, unless, unless they're physically abusing you and you need to let people know what's going on, like, yeah. But if they're not physically abusing you and you just got relationship issues, then you can keep that to yourself. You and your partner should fix that. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> that's my two cents on that. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups here. We have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Four of Pentacles. So this person wants to come and give you more time to this relationship because their fear is that you're going to leave them in a Ten of Cup here, and they're coming in with this offer, okay? They're going to take a chance on you. This offer, but they need to take care of themselves. Look at this. I hate when I see the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the Queen of Cups coming in because this person is giving you everything, but this person is a little bit depressed to me. Like, no self um, satisfaction here. Like, they're not taking care or remember to take care of themselves. They just want to be with, with this person. All they're thinking about is this person, this person, if this relationship is going to last, if this relationship is going to come back to them. Because they're willing to give time and, you know, effort in this relationship in the ten, um, in the four of uh, pentacles here. You know, meaning that this person is willing to take you out, buy you things, you know, balance out this relationship. Because this relationship wasn't balanced before. So this person is ready to give time back into this, okay? But we have someone that is not buying it. I feel like... This is an energy that is definitely going towards their own. They want to find answers on their themselves. They're not believing what their person is telling them. So they're picking up all the pieces here in the Seven of Swords, trying to find out what's going on before they make a decision to make a new start with this person, okay? Um, with this Ace of Wands here. Because they don't trust their person. They don't think they're, this is the one for them anymore. I feel like the three of pentacle came up telling me that, that you don't admire this person, you don't look up to this person, this person don't teach you anything anymore, and now you don't even think you guys are the it couple anymore. So you might, let's see what the three cards are. Okay, on the back of the deck, I see you're making a choice though. You're trying to make a choice for yourself, okay? So we have the ace of pentacles, okay, the queen of wands, okay, I think you're playing hard to get with this person. Because they betrayed you. They hurt you. So you're giving them what they gave you, basically. I feel like this person wants a new beginning with you, a legacy with you. You want a legacy with them. I feel like you're going to be confident enough to move on, um, to listen to this person, see what they have to say. I feel like you're going to work things out in the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're going to be focused, more focused and more open um, and confident in this relationship. But this person is coming in as a friend, though, at first. I feel like you are acting like you're over this relationship. And for some of you, what well, that card is very tricky because it could mean that you're just playing hard to get with this person. Um, but this person is coming in as a friend. Let's see. On the back of the deck, I do see the high front, the tower, where someone ghosted someone, decided not to end this relationship the right way. This was behind the scenes. And this is the page of swords where, you know, blockage. 
arguments karma the angels are watching this you guys so whoever is hurting someone right here just know that you have to make the right decision the angels are watching you to make sure that you make the right decision to be good to this person whoever is good to you you be good to them and if you don't make the right decisions i feel like you're going to go through your karma somebody's going to go through karma here somebody's going to go through judgment <laughs> all right and here is the love offer i mean really do you have to be next to the judgment card when you're going through your judgment then you're going to give a love offer uh but they're not confident let me just see let me just verify what's going on with this four of cups here what's going on with the four of cups please please um clarify the four of cups for me angels clarify the four of cups for me what's going on with this person with the four of cups four of cups please verify three cards four of cups These cards are so huge, you guys. Three cards, guys. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, we have the three of pentacles. We have the temperance in reverse. And we have the tower. So you're definitely over this person, let me tell you. I feel like this person is afraid, too, that this might be really over. But this person needs time to grow up. I feel like if you want to be with them, they need more time to grow up. Morally, it's more like this person haven't lived a lot in this physical world. This person's energy is a very young soul, okay? Um, they could not know how to deal with, not making excuses whatsoever for this person. But this person is get, coming off to me like a person that doesn't know how to deal with certain things in the physical because they are a young soul. They haven't lived as long as you have. Um, like in the physical world, they don't, if you lived many lives, okay, um, and got to live many lives in the physical, you've been through a lot more experience. So you've gone through a lot more situations easily and know how to deal with certain situations easily. But this person is very... They, they they want you, but they tend to go back on what they want, if that makes sense. And this is and I feel like this person's fear is you moving on. They're losing out on you, okay? And this person needs a lot of time to grow up. There's a lot of time that's needed in the temperance for this person if you choose to wait for them or not. But, you know, you're choosing to like, just forget about this person and ghost them. Like, not even talk to them. I don't feel like you want to even give them a satisfaction of why you want to do what you want to do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, let's see what advice the angels have for you. Okay? On this relationship, you guys. Mm, wow. All right, angels. What advice do you have? For this relationship please for the viewers what advice do you have for them with their relationships three cards please three cards please angels thank you angels Wow, everything that was in your reading. So we have the Knight of Swords here. We have the Tower. We have the Ace of Wands. I feel like there's a lot of fear giving this person another try, okay? And I feel like um, there's a lot of things that need to be addressed in this relationship. I feel like if you want to end this, the angels want you to give them clarity at least on why you choose to end this. Because I feel like this person is not going to give up on this connection, okay? Because they just don't know. They're rushing in, rushing in, constantly trying to fix this, trying to 
um, start over with you, okay? And I feel like this person needs a lot of clarity and why this is ending this way if you choose to end this um, relationship, okay? I also feel like um, there's a lot of fear here. This is why you don't want to give this person a chance because this person um, usually hurts you. And I feel like with this Ace of Wands here, you're putting a stop on a new beginning. I feel like the angels want you to also know that do not end up not believing in a new beginning with someone else because you chose, because this re this relationship didn't work out. I feel like I had another re uh, reading like this, you guys, but... You know, just because you ended this relationship and this person didn't work out, don't mean to put an end on future relationship and close the door completely on a new beginning with someone because there is a new beginning wanting to happen for you, okay? And the angels want you to open your heart and constantly open your heart because there's someone coming towards you for a new beginning. And maybe it's your past person, but I feel like there's a lot of healing needs to be done with this because this person did, um, you know, make you feel like, oh. I feel like this person, I don't feel like you hate this person or have, I just feel like this person, like, you dis, you're disappointed. In the Six of Wands being in reverse and then Three of Pentacles, I feel like you're just disappointed in this person because you really admire this person, you really looked up to them, and you really thought that you guys were the it couple. Like, I feel like that's what people thought of you, like, when you walk through a room together, like, in the Six of Wands, you guys are beautiful and you just fit together. And now that this situation is what it is you feel like you know this person really betrayed you and this person really disappointing you in your eyes okay and you know you really wanted this to work out with this person but the angels want you to know that you need to stay open keep your heart open you know believe in love because love does exist okay all right you guys this is what i have for you i hope it resonates and i will see you guys in your next reading remember if it does resonate to like the video give it a big thumbs up here comment below what resonated and i will see you guys in your next one bye guys